This video is on augmented reality. Unlike virtual reality, augmented reality lets you synchronize reality with visuals from digital technology in real time. And depending on output hardware, it can provide privacy. Users usually need a screen that can deliver information and integrate with the real life environments, like smart glasses, cell phones, or even contact lenses. But there is projection based augmented reality as well, which uses a synthetic light to show visuals. People also refer to projection based augmented reality as holograms. Augmented reality components are simply broken down into three different categories input based hardware, processing hardware software, and output hardware. Input based hardware are sensors that capture information about the real world, like cameras, compasses, gyroscope, and GPS. Processing hardware and software are used to interpret data acquired through the sensors. Then we have output hardware, which displays the information like smart glasses. Augmented reality uses simultaneous localization and mapping, which allows digital content to be accurately synchronized with the real world. When a user turns on augmented reality, it first uses camera and other sensors to capture the user's environment. The data that is captured then has to be processed, so augmented reality software can decide where to place the user's requested data. After deciding what visuals to show, the augmented reality software will synchronize with the live environment and place it where requested. The augmented reality software has to understand the real world for it to synchronize properly, from horizontal and vertical surfaces and planes to motion detecting. It has to capture numerous data and have to process it real time before displaying the digital visual. Let's talk about the simplest form of augmented reality. We got the marker based AR, which uses a photo and QR code to initiate AR animation. The marker is going to be static, meaning it's not going to move from that spot. You will use a camera or similar to activate the AR. Users can move around it and it allows for a 3D view. But once again, this is marker based AR, meaning the visual won't move from that spot. This is frequently used in museums where one can use a phone to scan a specific spot and pull up augmented reality. Then we have markerless augmented reality, which doesn't have the limitation of it being fixed in a single spot. Then we have a step beyond that, which is superimposition based augmented reality, which is just a markerless with smarter technology like object detection.